is the longest railway tunnel in Central Asia. The journey from Uzbekistan's capital Tashkent to its southeastern regions has now been reduced from four days to four hours. The tunnel is impressive. In the past, trains traveling southeast had to first go to another country, Tajikistan, in order to get around the high mountains. The trouble was not just about distance, but also complicated procedures in crossing the borders. The 20-kilometer-long tunnel was built in three years by a Chinese company, the China Railway Tunnel Group. It was completed three months ahead of the schedule. Along the way, engineers faced challenging geological hurdles, including spontaneous fractures of rock. Rockbirds is like a hidden bomb that might explode at any time and any place. When it happens, rocks and stones will splash all over the place. What's worse, there's still no technology to accurately predict the time, place, or magnitude of the burst. During our construction, we could only try our best to reduce the possibility and damage. Zhou Xiaoguang says they encountered rock bursts several times, including one time involving thousands of cubic meters of rocks smashing down. More than 800 local workers were involved in the project. After we joined the construction, we were not only offered higher wages, we also learned new skills. The $450 million project was largely paid for with loans from China. It's the first step toward building what President Xi Jinping describes as a logistic corridor from the Pacific to the Baltic Sea. The world's major commercial banks will seldom give loans to these countries because they can hardly pass the rigid risk assessment. China's import and export bank is more flexible because it's a state-owned, policy-orientated bank which does not aim for short-term returns. China will be rewarded much more in the longer term if the logistics corridor can be built up. Uzbekistan was among the first countries to back President Xi Jinping's initiative of building a Silk Road economic belt back in 2013. This landlocked country hopes that cooperating with China to improve its infrastructure can give a much-needed boost to its global trade. Han Peng, CCTV, Tashkent.